Lions TV, mate. It's been a while since you've been on the oh, channel. I know, I know. 1-1 one, one today. Back. Yeah, the fan cams are back. Fan cams are back. 1-1. One, one. Yep. A few people seemed disappointed at the end. A few people seemed happy. Where do you sit? It's like Jekyll and Ivory. Really. I think the first, first half was good half. I think played really well. Second half was kind of back against the wall. Um, I think sometimes we was taking like some unnecessary punishment from their attack. Like, I think a lot of the time we was inviting it, inviting it on ourselves. We was giving away silly possession. Um, but you know, overall, no, I'm not disappointed with the performance. I just, you know, the only thing I take about we could have come away three points, but I'm not disappointed with the performance now. No. Last week, Zia Fleming wouldn't let Kevin Nisbet take a free kick. This time, Nisbet gets his way. I think that's Fleming well and truly off free kicks, don't you? Well, no, I'm not being funny. So I, I see Fleming stand, and listen, I know like I'm a, I'm a big Fleming fan, but he's been non-existent recently. And I think in pre-season, I went to the Sutton game, and Kevin Nisbet scored a free kick, and I'm, he scored a couple through Bernie, and I think. What, why, do you know what I mean? We've seen today, mm. like I think Fleming, even in the, I mean, even in the warm up, when there's an open goal, Fleming can't get him in. <laughs> so why is he still taking them? I think like, it's, it's just goes to show today, giving his bit one go and he'll score them. Mm. And um, yeah, it should be our free kick taker from now. Credit to well. Gary Rowett. He played two up front again, I didn't think mm. he would. And you know, we walked away from the other point, I think a good point, but he's gone with it again two weeks in a row. So hopefully that, that continues now. Yeah, I think. Um, it's been a bit hard on Bradshaw. I think Bradshaw's been doing the donkey work, trying to knock his socks off. And fair play to him. I, I, I love Tom Bradshaw. Um, T by the end of the game, he kind of just put everything into it. But sometimes he can't help when the balls are going over the top of him here and there. I just think we need to get them involved a little bit more because yeah. it's, it's, it's hard. Because I'd love to see like a Bradshaw's like Eatmat because he would have been all over the place. But I want to see him have more touches on the ball. You know, the ball's flying over him. I want to see him get involved that bit more. And it's like I, I know I say it again, but. I think if someone would have told me that Zian Fleming hasn't played any games this season, I'd believe him. <laughs> no, because I just think that the geezer's not been involved, and I think that. Do you think his head's been turned? Uh, maybe, but you know, I know it took him a while to get going when he started playing for us yeah. last season. But he he looked good. He was involved, and I just think that it, I don't. I actually do think he looks slightly half-hearted. Um, and like I say, I, I, I loved Zian Fleming last season, but I just don't think he looks. I don't really think he looks interested. He doesn't look like half the player he was last season. I mean, I want him to come good. Of course I do. Course I, I love him. But, um, well, we're stuck with him now regardless till January, even if he does want of, of course. I just I just think that, you know, his game needs improving. Whether we need to play to his strengths a little bit more, I don't know. But it's a team game at the end of the day. And, um, yeah, I think, I think he needs to kind of get his head out of the clouds a little bit and yeah. uh, get kicking on. Two new signings. Got a little look at them today. Yeah. Uh, what did you think? Well, Alan Campbell didn't really, didn't it, really. He looked get miles off the pace to me, but that, yeah. that, that, that will come a time in games. But it just kind of frustrated me, really. I get why he changed it because he was originally bringing on SA, and then he changed it back because I think Norton Cuffey got a yellow. But Longman, I think um, for someone who's, um, I won't, I won't really particularly keen on someone. I was like, why are we signing? He's a yeah. kind of like, I, I don't really know why, but. To be fair, when he came on, he looked very sharp, looked agile. You yeah, know, he looked like, good. Um, he, looked good. he looked very comfortable on the ball. He put himself about. And to be fair, I wasn't actually aware that he could play left wing back. I know he was versatile, but I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Rowan you know, loves that. Rowan loves a versatile player. Yeah, and um, do you know, Murray Wallace been in some crap this season, but I think he was, uh, he was, he was all right today, Murray Wallace. But I think um, for me, and it's, it's, it's the man, he's kind of like a secret weapon for I think Ryan Leonard, I think, as centre-half, I think he looks so comfortable. Yeah, I think he he, I think today he was man of the match again. I think last week it was between him and Cooper. He's missed a consistent for me. And I think now that obviously Sean Hutchinson looks, I don't know how it looks like he's yeah, going to be out for, the, the annual Sean Hutchinson injury <laughs> that we all knew was coming when Gary <laughs> Rowett... No one, but no one wants. Uh, yeah, and um, Gal, obviously Rowett said in the interview... Um, you know, uh, I think we've got enough centre-halves and I think, well, what if one gets injured? Nice one, Gal. Um, yeah. you know, Evan, Evans has gone there as well. Yeah, Evans has Looking gone. Like... So I don't know what's going to happen there. Harden looked good when he came on today, though. But, I thought um, so, yeah. I think, yeah, I think Ryan Leonard was, was absolutely superb today. Yeah, brilliant. Well, mate, well, listen. Nice one, Dan. Let's get the other boys on. Nice.